What is up guys, Joel here back with another video and today we're actually going to be talking about iOS 8 Beta 4 which was just released this morning or earlier today uh, to developers to download and update their iOS device. Now I'm just going to be covering what is new in iOS 8 Beta 4 and there's not many things that are new. I'm just going to go over briefly the major changes that I found uh, but I may miss a few so if you did find any new uh, tweaks or new things on iOS 8 beta 4 if you are testing it out leave a comment down below because I'm interested in checking that out but first off we're gonna start off with control center now control center is actually a redesign and if you're not familiar with what control center is it is that little menu that you pull up from the bottom of the screen so if you simply swipe up you will notice that it's different than iOS 7 and also the previous iOS 8 betas so in beta 4 it is now this newly redesigned kind of reminds me of Mac OS 10 Yosemite uh, sort of in a bit and in all honesty, I really am not a fan of it uh, Here's a little comparison on the iPod touch fifth generation, which I have beta 3 still installed So you do see control center. Uh, you do see the difference on here uh, It's a redesigned control center on beta 4 now I hope they kind of tweak it up a little bit more when the final version of iOS 8 comes out But this is what we have here. You see the difference right here. The lines are removed now and also now the toggles are white when you enable like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi or whatever setting in the toggles right there. So that is control center with the complete redesign. Next up we're going to go into settings and right here as you scroll down we have now a display and brightness settings. So this is basically where you control your brightness as you see there and you'll be able to toggle on and off auto brightness. Basically what you're able to normally do on your wallpaper settings and also you can change the text size and also bold the text. Now something else is in the settings once again if we go into our mail contacts and calendar settings if we scroll all the way down we now have the new option of show in app switcher so you can actually turn on and off your phone favorites and also your recent contacts in your multitask switcher so if you're not aware of what that is when you double press the home button you get the multitask switcher you see the phone favorites and the recent but now you can toggle that on and off if you don't like seeing your phone favorites or your recent contacts you can disable that in the settings application now once again going back into our settings we go into general we now have a handoff and suggested apps uh, settings here where we can enable and disable handoff if you're not familiar with handoff what it is it's a real cool feature that allows you to instantly pick up your devices uh, your iOS device that's connected to your iCloud account and then basically continue where you left off either on your Mac or on your iPhone or iPad things like that it's a real cool feature I really like that and right below that you can enable and disable suggested apps so you'll be able to disable my apps or disable app store so what this does is on your lock screen when you pull down your lock screen normally it'll show you a suggested app according to your location and it'll display on your lock screen and in the app switcher but you'll be able to disable that through the settings in here now if we go into our messages settings we now have new options uh, for your history of your messages so in beta 3 all we had was message history where we can keep our messages forever or I believe it was 30 days as well but now we have the option of audio message when they expire so we can make them expire after two minutes and then that way it'll erase from your device because after time it's gonna be uh, taking up your space on your device and also for video messages you can set the expiration date after two minutes as well because video messages of course they're going to be taking a lot of your storage so that is a cool new feature that will allow you to basically set an expiration date for your audio messages or your video messages and lastly we have this new tips application which i'm not sure if it's going to make it to the final version but i'm assuming so because it's already available on beta 4 uh, but what it is it's going to give you some tips and pointers on new little features on iOS 8. So like quick responding to text messages, how to do that, things like that. And every week they're going to be updating it with new tips for you to use and all that good stuff. So if you're new to iOS or if you just want to learn a little bit more of iOS 8, you can go ahead and check out the tips application. Now I know there's a couple of things that I probably missed out on, uh, but let me know in the comment section below if you found any more uh, little tweaks that are worth mentioning uh, but other than that guys this is gonna wrap it up for this video as always go ahead and hit that like button if you did enjoy this video not only helps me but it shows support to the channel as well and it shows me that you like these type of videos also if you're not yet following me on any of my social networks like Twitter Facebook Google Plus or Instagram all of my links are down below and those are the quickest way 
uh, to get a hold of me or contact me, uh, especially Twitter. So go ahead and follow me on Twitter and also Instagram because I use Instagram quite a bit. But also if you're new to the channel, and you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any of my future videos like this and other types of tech related videos. Anyways guys, thanks a lot for watching and I will catch you all on the next one. Alright? Peace!